All right, so in this problem, we have a system of three particles, and they're all located on this xy plane. Now we know uh, where these particles are based on information the problem tells us, which tells us that x sub s here is equal to 2.0 meters, and ys over here is also 2.0 meters. So we can use that information and we want to find the coordinates for the center of mass of the entire system. Now we have some formulas for this. We can find either the x or the y coordinate of the center of mass of a system using this formula, and it only works in one direction. So for example, the x component of the center of mass is equal to the mass of particle one times the horizontal position of particle one plus the exact same term for particle two, so m2 x2, plus m3 x3. And all of this is divided by the total mass of the system, or the sum of the masses of particles one, two, and three. So all you have to do for part A, which asks about the x component, is plug the values given to us by the problem into this formula. And note that for particle one, the term just becomes zero because it's, it's at the origin point. So x sub three is equal to zero and that term just kind of disappears. So if you plug our values into the calculator, then what we find is that the x, the, the x coordinate of the system's center of mass is about 1.1 meters. So that's the x coordinate. Now for the y coordinate, the formula is basically identical, except we use y's instead of x's. So it's m1 y1 plus m2 y2 y2 plus m3 y3. And it's all divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3, the same total mass. And if we plug this into our calculator, we find that the y-coordinate of the system's center of mass is 1.3 meters. Now the final part of the problem asks if the mass of particle 3, so this particle right here, if we increase the mass of this particle, how does this impact the center of mass for the entire system as a whole? And what's going to happen is that as we increase the mass of any particle, the total center of mass of the entire system is going to move towards that point. This is because the whole point of the center of mass is that it acts as kind of like a center of the mass distribution. So wherever the mass is the highest, the center of mass is going to tend to be closest to that mass. So if we increase the mass of particle three, then the center of mass shifts towards this particle. And that's really it for that question. So that's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a question about this video, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video or you'd just like to hang out, my Discord server and my Twitch page are both linked in the description below. So check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now. I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.